hello everyone welcome back so till now we have discussed following things during week 0 we talked about setup of git and github so that you are able to submit your programs on a github repository I also provide a solution of that second thing what I have done here is take inputs from a file and after that I have talked about store or save output to a file so we all are done till this point now I am going to begin with week 1 and during week 1 we have discussed four problems one is linear search binary search jump search and exponential search and I am hoping that you all are aware about the problem statement till now so what I am going to do here I am going to discuss solution of these problems one by one okay so for this tutorial I am going to talk about linear search only so here is the problem statement we have an array of non-negative integer and we need to design an algorithm so that we can find a key element inside an array and this is the way we are storing inputs and here is the sample output for linear search okay so let's go to the pseudocode of this algorithm here is the solution of linear search you can find out all the problem statements and their solution on this link and this file you will find out on my github profile so for linear search we just need to scan the array from beginning till the end and we'll be starting with index 1 and we'll go up to n and check if entry at each position is equal to key element or not so the pseudo code for linear search is this we are going to search from 1 to the length of the array and if a key element is equal to array element we need to return that particular element or index of that particular element otherwise you can return nil or minus 1 in our case okay so let me give you an example for this so for linear search just pick an array I am picking out first test case so 34 35 65 31 25 89 64 and 30 and what is the key element in this case key element is 89 now also write their indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now I am going to tell you how this algorithm is going to work ok so algorithm starts with this particular element or 0th index see the algorithm again you are starting with 1 to length of the array but one when we implement this it is basically this particular index zeroth index so first element is at zeroth index and key element is this so first we are going to compare this key element with this element suppose this array name is array so this particular element is at array 0 and then you need to compare this with key element once you compare 89 with 34 here the result that you are going to get is false because these elements are not equal even in this case you are going to get false 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 and till now you have done five comparisons now when you compare with this element result will be true but this is also one comparison and in this case there will be six comparisons in total 
right and element is present so this is first test case element is present and there are six comparisons let us suppose you want to find out some other element in this array maybe the er the element that is not present here and I can make that key element equal to 90 so algorithm will start finding or start comparing 90 to this element first when this element is compared to 90 it gives us false false here as well false 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 and false in each case now the loop ends and when the loop ends it returns false or minus 1 ok so this is the way linear search work the time complexity for this algorithm is big O of n because there are maximum of un n comparisons that can be made and if you ask about the best case of linear search you can find out the element in first case only so if key element is 34 you can find out 34 in first comparison and in that case you can say best case complexity is O1 but the worst case complexity is ON and this is what we always look for ok if we talk about space complexity of this particular algorithm there is no auxiliary space here so space complexity will be O1 ok so I think you are clear with this algorithm now in the next tutorial I am going to move towards binary search then jump search exponential search and after that I will implement all the algorithms and push them to the github ok if you have any query or doubt in this particular algorithm just write your queries or questions in the comments and I will try to respond back as soon as possible so see you in the next video till then thank you so much